All right, all right. Sheesh, calm down. Jeez. So you want me to make Saitama? Well, in that case, to start, we gotta go with the clothes and make sure Saitama has something to wear because he can't be naked because if he was naked, he can't really do his job as a superhero saving all the little children from the monsters if he wasn't wearing clothes because then he would scare them. What am I even saying? I don't know. Let's find some clothes for Saitama. So uh, if we look over here at our uh, Saitama picture, he is in yellow spandex because just like I have said in previous episodes of this show, if you're a superhero, you pretty much have to wear spandex. So do I take like the Tab G skeleton outfit and we make it go yellow? Oh my God, that is it. Just yellow. Her, it's so bright. But then again, Saitama's yellow is pretty bright. But I don't like this suit because the neckline's off. Because Saitama has like a, a bit of a scoopy, scoopy neckline. So I'm not too sure about that one. Tab G shirt, perfect. And is there a matching Tab G pants to go with it? Hmm, Tab G pants, except there's knee pads. We, we don't want knee pads. Oh, never mind, here we are. Tab G pants, perfect. And make the shirt into a beautiful yellow. And make the pants into a beautiful yellow. Look at that, fantastic. But he needs that belt. The belt just kind of like completes the, the torso outfit concept. If I was a belt, I'd probably be locked in torso and I would probably be in the leg. There's not in the leg. It's in the tab. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, there it is. The Viking belt. And you choose this because it kind of looks like his belt, but you make the straps black, right? Give him the blacky strappies. Oh, these are not black. Oh, I said give him the blacky strappies. There we go. And then we make the emblem a uh, yellow. And the symbol I'll make yellow. There you go. Very Saitama. It looks like Saitama's got a bit of a belly now. It's a little awkward. I mean, Saitama in the picture is trim and slim and sleek. And this Saitama is a little, a little thick. That's okay. The game is totally accurate after all. Oh, now the cape. He needs his cape. It is iconic. Like if you see the yellow spandex with the bright white sheet. Is it a sheet? I don't know what that is. I mean, he, he kind of does this stuff himself. So imagine a cape with sheet of sorts. Which cape do I use? I don't know. There's so many options. Roman cape. No, not the Roman cape. Right, just search for the word cape. You'll find options. Really helps when you do a search. Hey, this isn't bad. Minus the strings. It needs to clasp in the front. I also should see in the back. It's a long cape. Like his cape is long and billowing. Like. Uh, 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 ooh. Ooh, this is not terrible. It's not exactly the Saitama cape, but it's not terrible because it's fairly long like Saitama's, right? And then you color it white, right? Ooh, look at that. And his buttons are black. Now, Saitama's got the double button thing going on, but our Saitama's gonna have a single button because I can't quite find the, the shoulder cape. Maybe it's a cloak. What if we search for like cloak? I doubt there's a difference. Nope, no cloaks. This is the best cape that we have available to us to make our Saitama. And now the piece de la resistance, he needs his uh, red gloves and his red boots. Hmm, thick, thick gloves. Didn't the medieval have all oh, the Wild West had really good gloves. Those are beautiful. Those are phenomenal. And they need to be red. And then the boots. Is there like a really big, thick, powerful wild west now that likes a powerful wild west boot option i mean i'm looking at these ones and i'm like those are bad those are <laughs> those are pretty legit like if you compare it to the picture those are pretty good they're too thick on the top we need to be sleeker options it's tall and sleek tall and trim tall and thin and not cowboy <laughs> boots the vigilante boots are not bad I'm, I'm leaning towards those i'm gonna scroll up take a quick little look world war boots they clip really badly you know the vampire shoes legit perfect those, those, those are spot on and you just convert the red into the proper red like the vampire boots are phenomenal they they look really good ladies and gentlemen the visual appearance of saitama is finished comment down below and let me know give me a rating out of 10 and tell me how close we got to the true Saitama. I think we did pretty good considering our limitations here in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Now for the powers. There's a couple ways we can do this, guys. A couple ways we can design this. Do we take Saitama and make him beyond broken? Or do we take Saitama and make him his usual lazy self until he punches a thing? I mean, he's not lazy. He's not like 
super fast. To start, we're gonna go with the slow, regular Satama who doesn't wanna use his serious punch. HP, well, how many zeros is enough zeros for Satama? Like, if we get, can we get real here? Eh. Um, it didn't, didn't do anything. I don't know how many zeros are there. <laughs> I lost track of the zeros. Speed, we're gonna keep at one. Attack speed, we're gonna put at one, but damage, well, you know, it is Saitama. And as such, Saitama's gonna punch the thing and it's going to die. <laughs> they don't call a one punch man for nothing. Weapons, now this is the interesting part. How do we make Saitama into the one punch god? Because that's, that's really everything. You could give him the ice giant punch. I mean, that does give it a resounding oomph. Because when he does hit things, th th it hurts a lot. And is it possible to like, uh, Saitama, you... You okay there, bud? Is your hand stuck? He's like, I can't move my hand. Is it possible to change the, the can't change the, the stats of the punch? I'd love to give it a massive knockback. That'd be phenomenal, but you can't. Ice giant punch one, ice giant punch two. Now he's double dancing with those hands. I'm not gonna give him pretty much any abilities. Actually, I might give him a whole bunch of defensive abilities. I might give him a whole bunch of deflects and such. So master projectile block. Uh, teacher's parry, master projectile block, master projectile block, and master projectile block. <laughs> he's just gonna block all the things. Cause these guys, oh, you can't kill Saitama, right? Just, he just like, just takes the punch. Yeah, okay, you know what? Now that I think about it, Saitama usually just takes the punch on the chin. He doesn't block, but this is what we gotta do. It, it, it took five, there's 500 zeros on the end of this. Oh no. Here he is, Saitama in all of his glory. All two billion points of him because we've made him into a very powerful being. Now to find out just how serious or not serious, serious punches. Down below, we have some filthy ninjas who think they're gonna get the sneak attack on One Punch Man, but Saitama has other ideas. Well, that was interesting. Now Saitama has to earn his way into the Mr. Crojack Boys faction. Saitama versus Miles Morales, Naruto, Spider-Man, Wolverine, Crush the Clown, and Hobo Fred and Steve. water the water it's always the water with all the water being frozen solid by the snow saitama's about to take on none other than son goku Son Goku just sent the wheel flying in. Goku's down. Goku's down. Saitama is victorious. Now it is time for Saitama to take on Maximus, our angel of God. With his flaming sword, everything Maximus is just epic. Here we go. Damn. 
Did Maximus just one? What? Hit points. One of the power of 11. Hold on, that's not correct. One to the power of 200? What happened to his HP? His HP just like broke. And let's go into the unit just to double check that HP adjustment. One of the power of 11. Is that the maximum? How about one of the power of 100? Okay, we'll try that. One of the power of 100. And we'll double check Saitama one more time. One of the power of 11. Is, is that the weird maximum? I wanted him to have a billion bazillion HP. Not one with a measly 11 zeros. Even though 11 zeros is 100 billion HP. <laughs> now we see Saitama versus Heinz will go. Oh, <laughs> Saitama with the one punch. He took all of those attacks from Ainz, completely shook him off, and hit him once in the chest, and the game was over. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more awesome content, click the links you see on the screen right now and go watch more awesome videos. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.